What's up YouTube, it's your boy Nash here, welcome back to the channel, and, to, and today I'm going to be discussing the future of NXT. So, so this was actually announced, I guess sort of, this past Saturday at NXT TakeOver, Takeover War Games in, in Chicago, and this, um, this article was actually, um, was actually posted by Wrestle Talk, so big shout outs, shout outs to them. Um, so big shout outs to to Wrestle Talk. So this is basically basically what they <clears throat> what what they wrote on, on their uh, on on their website. So it says here last weekend during the broadcast of NXT Takeover War Games, WWE confirmed. That NXT will be heading to Portland, Portland, Oregon on February sixteenth, twenty twenty. So that means it was that it, it will be taking place on on a, on a Sunday. Um, and as of now, um, and up until this point, um, NXT, NXT take, take takeovers has has always been taking place on a Saturday or a Friday night. Now the reason behind the fact that it was on Friday. This past April was because of the was because of the Hall of Fame ceremony as well as WrestleMania. Um, this could happen again. It could happen again with with WrestleMania 36 in Tampa. Only, but my guess we could also see um, we we could also see. Uh, three show, three wrestling shows in one night on Thursday, NXT UK at noon here, here in here in California anyway, SmackDown at eight, and then at ten would be Two Hundred Five Live. Or if you or or if you guys watch the network on the East Coast, it'll it'll, it'll be on on its uh, Two Hundred Five Live will be on at seven. Uh, so we could so that could happen, but of course, um, but of course, only time will tell. I don't know why my phone won't want doesn't want to cooperate. Seriously, I don't know why. Um, I right, well, you know what? Um, well, you know what? While my phone decides to not work, I'm going to try and explain what's been going on. So, um, what in the hell? No. Get off! No, guys, I'm so sorry. My phone just doesn't want to fucking cooperate. Here we go. There we go. Finally. Um. So, um. And now, now, now we now Dave Meltzer. On the Wrestling Observer Radio has has revealed the real reason why NXT Takeover shows will now be taking place on a Sunday, like like the main roster pay per views like like Extreme Rules, Royal Rumble, Survivor Series, and whatnot. He says, and I quote, "I think I," he says, and I quote, "I think the new thing is that they they want all the big shows on Sunday." All what is Uh, my phone just doesn't want to work, guys. I don't know. Um, I all right, uh, all right. I think I got it. All right. He says. He says, and I quote: "I think the new thing is that they want all the big shows on Sunday to avoid the Saturday boxing and whatever competition there is. I think that they have found, or there is a belief that the viewership on on the network has been traditionally much stronger on Sundays." Than, than Saturdays. And of course, there's a reason for that. Meltzer also noticed that WWE will be tr will, will be trailing, trialing, trialing, putting NXT shows on Sunday nights with NXT UK TakeOver Blackpool 2 in January 2020 and NXT TakeOver Portland the following month. Um, I believe this, this is Meltzer's Word, uh, word. So he says. So, so he says, and I quote: Essentially, 
This is a test that they're doing with the TakeOver UK show and for this show where it's like we're going to see if more people watch these TakeOvers on Sunday. And if it works that way, then Sunday will be, you know, the night. Um, this also means that NXT TakeOver shows will be stand, will be will be standalone and will not take place the day before the main roster pay-per-views as they have done in the previous years. Uh, this was confirmed, um, this was confirmed as, uh, just earlier this week as WWE announced a Worlds Collide show between NXT and NXT UK for the night before the Royal Rumble instead of TakeOver. Um, so, so, so my guess as Dave Meltzer pointed out, my guess they could, they they, they could be testing it out. Uh, but then again, they they could just be um, they 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 then again they could be making this a full time thing, which is high which is highly possible, but it is not likely. Um, my my thoughts on it, I think, in my opinion, in my opinion, I think they're doing. I think they're making the wrong call. Because if they were to do that, well, actually, you know what? You know what? You know what? Now that I think about it, it could be a pretty, a pretty good idea, but I'm not in. I'm not so entirely sure. But not only that, not only that, but as of March of 2020, which will be, which is actually going to be on on the same month that the newest Yu-Gi-Oh set Dual Overload will be released for us here in the in the TCG. NXT is going to be going live to pretty much any and all venues all across the world. So, so we could see NXT. You know, we we could see an episode of NXT TV on like in like in places like Toronto, Canada, or or Montreal, Quebec, or even even Madison or even Madison Square Garden, which is. Which is high, which is actually highly possible. Um, and by and by that time, we and by that time we could see the you know members from 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 the current roster go to the main roster. You know, such as Keith Lee, uh, possibly Adam Cole, which I in, in which I heard that. Um, that Money Night Raw is is having high hopes for for Adam Cole. Um, uh, Shayna Baszler is is another one. So there, so we could see so many of them. And not only that, but earlier, but earlier this year, um, I think was it back in July or was it June? I want to say it was June. Give me one second, guys. I believe it was June because I remember. Oh no 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 no! I was right. No, I was right. Back back in back in July, I was right. So if you guys remember back in July, <clears throat> um, on the night before Extreme Rules, I had did a review video on on the Evolve Wrestling 10th Anniversary Show, and we saw. So many top stars, you know. <clears throat> you know, we saw, we saw Matt Riddle. We we also saw Adam Cole, Akira Tozawa, Johnny Gargano, uh, Drew Gulak. We even saw Sean Maluda, who is who is I guess no longer with WWE. Uh, we even saw Brandy Lauren, I think is her name, uh, who was who was once a part of WWE for a while. Um, you know, uh, Josh Briggs, Austin Theory, J.D. Drake, I think, I think was the name. Um, you know, so many amazing star. you know, so many, so, so many amazing, um, uh, 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 wrestlers. I can't, I cannot speak tonight. Um, so many amazing wrestlers in, in Evolve that appeared on the WWE Network. And um, and there have been rumors that Austin Theory was going to be in NXT, as we as we have found out. Um, as 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 we have found out, 
at TakeOver New York. Yeah, yeah, back at um, NXT, NXT TakeOver New York. And, um, and the, and apparently he actually showed up at a couple of live, at a couple of live events in like, in like Portland and several other parts of the U.S., uh, which honestly, seeing, seeing, seeing Austin Theory in WWE, I think it could be, I think he could do wonders for his career. I could definitely see him be, be, be uh, become a great a great NXT champion if someone were act were to actually defeat Adam Cole, which will probably be never because he has the undisputed era bailing him out. <laughs> um, um, not only that, but NXT General Manager William Regal actually offered Shotzi Blackheart, who I believe. Let me see. If I remember correctly, do I still have have that paper? Here it is, right here. Here's right here. Um, let's see here. Yep. Yeah. Shotzi. Yeah. Yeah. Shotzi Blackheart. Um, um, Shotzi Blackheart was actually in a no, was in a, actually in a no DQ match against Brandy Lauren was her name. Uh, yep. I was right, Brandy Lauren. Um, and earlier this year, just a, just within the last few months, uh, within within the last few months, she was offered an NXT contract, and now she's training at the Performance Center in Orlando, which is amazing. Which is amazing. I could see her go very far in WWE, unlike unlike Jordan Miles, who pre who who basically quit WWE due to. Um, the fact that due to racism and that's I don't know how to respond to that honestly. Um, but um, but but you know what? It is what it is. Um, so going back with with NXT and NXT Takeover. Um, so. Um, my thoughts on it, on, on, on this whole thing, I think, I think it's a, ooh, excuse me, I think, I think it's a great idea, especially because, um, especially because, because of the fact that we're getting closer and closer to, to the Super Bowl, so they could, they could, um, be holding TakeOver in, in Portland because of the Super Bowl, but any and anything anything can happen. I think I, I think this will do wonders for the entire NXT brand because we could because they could do um because the shows could could go to like three, three and a half, four hours, um which is which is highly possible. Um but with that being said, um with that being said, that is gonna do it for, for this video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about about this whole thing because I think, um, as I said before, I think this could really do wonders for for NXT and and the entire NXT brand um, to root to truly elevate the to truly elevate the superstars of NXT. You know, from guys like Tommaso Ciampa, Keith Lee, women like Shayna Baszler, Candice LeRae, uh, Dakota Kai. You know, whatnot. I it. It could happen, you know. You know they, you know they could elevate it, but but only time will tell. And I've been hearing rumors that NXT UK is going to have that same is going to be get is going to be getting that same treatment. Only this time, only this time they'll be in places like in places like the O2 Arena in London, um, you know. And and when it comes to their to their to their takeovers, it could be. You know, again in London, you know in in Melbourne, Australia at the Melbourne Cricket Ground. Any again, when it comes to the WWE, anything can happen. So with that being said, that is gonna do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash the thumbs up button. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you guys do not do not miss out on any new content that comes your way. And on that, this is your boy Nash signing out.